car. It's really good lighting right now, and um, I'm not 100% sure how the lighting is going to be. Double chin. How the lighting is going to be, and uh, when I get back to my house from my grand from my granny's, just to go ahead and do uh, the video update and stuff that he needs to tell you guys. So I'm going to go through it. I was kind of frantic for a moment because I didn't think I would have the list on me for some reason. So. I'm assuming this is week three. Jumping back on a vegan bandwagon. Um, vegan life been like so far in my region. Um, I would say this. I don't, it's not nearly as hard as the last times I remember going vegan. Available. I know that I had um, old resources that I would watch back when I was vegan like you know uh, pineapple and kale and avant-garde cook with uh, jazz is gorgeous <laughs> um, jazz Oakley he makes stuff that he makes recipes that I I think don't think I would ever be able to cook they're so awesome Sweet potato vegan which my cousin who's vegan and her mom uh, my cousin Lauren Kimball she met Sweet Potato Soul um, a while back so um, yeah, so as far as has it been harder or easier, I would say it's been easier um, just because I'm not going ham on buying uh, processed meat products. Like I do buy sprouted tofu, I will buy like soy chorizo, um, I do like garden, I like garden meatloaves and their, their fake fish sticks they eat. But I think I don't want to make my diet unnecessarily complicated. I also really want to focus on um, making a plate that is more legume, greens, grain centered as opposed to, although don't get me wrong, I brought some cashews, guys. I'm making nachos, okay? <laughs> so, like, I, I mean, I'm just gonna use quinoa uh, for my taco meat as opposed to going and buying garden taco crumbles, which are really good. Um, Beyond these taco crumbles are great. If you have like this hangry from like vegan hamburger helper, <laughs> you can make it. So, uh, but I'm going to go, like, I got vegan cream cheese. I couldn't find vegan sour cream for some reason. Um, and I'll make some vegan, probably pick up some more pinto beans and just, yeah, get some quinoa, some taco sauce, taco seasoning, and make nachos, which sounds delicious. Um, yeah, so I would say it is easier to get back into the whole vegan lifestyle by you know uh because i have resources before because I, I know i know about how to cook things i'm afraid of the tofu <laughs> um tempeh is something that i really want to master i i just think so um you know i'm not above it i i when i first went vegan way back when like 2008 um i used c10 i made it from scratch in the crock pot so it's not something i'm completely scared about um uh, my mix don't scare me <laughs> um, those are because I'm introducing more sugar back into my diet to buy simple, sh buy simple sugars like with fruit I do find myself occasionally sneaking my mom's um, honey buns they're not really there's no honey in them but it's just like just the whole you know I'm going I'm going vegan for the for the, for the animals because it's eth uh, ethical you know there's no need for me to eat an animal. There's no need for me to contribute to the horrible meat industry. There's no need to, you know, I vote with my dollar. And if I don't like something, the only way my voice is really going to be heard in a capitalist society is just to not um, partake. So I would say the, the lows for going vegan so far is really, really dealing with and focusing and tackling um my preconceived notions you know, um being open minded hearing all of what's going on in the vegan debates being more 
my being warpers. Uh, some of them could be shady to each other. Um, but this, there's so much misinformation out there. That's where it feels overwhelming because you're like trying to suss, you're trying to suss out what's going to work for you and what's not going to work for you. High carb, low carb. I, even though I've done a, a couple videos on recipes using high carb recipes, like you know from Esselstyn and you know um, I haven't done. I know personally for my well, for my body that I need higher, I need moderate fat. I need moderate protein. Um, so. You know, I'm, I'm looking at recipes and there's things in recipes that I totally would do. And there's things I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put a gua I'm going to put avocado on top of that. I'm going to have guacamole. I'm going to have pesto. I'm going to have nuts. Kind of like back off of unnecessary amounts of oil when cooking. But as far as low fat, my body does not like that. I have done me. Yeah. So teach your own. I think sometimes there's a little true kernel of truth in, in most of the philosophies. Figure it out on your own. Um, so yeah, I've been watching YouTubers like Mike the Vegan, Unnatural Vegan, and those annoying vegans. My goal is to stay vegan for life. I believe just can't be purely nutritional. Like it is nutritional that I watch what I put in my body that I simplify my diet, that I eliminate animal produ products and animal byproducts. Then that and Mike the Vegan was talking about that as well as a natural vegan. And I, you know, for me, it has to be what the health and forks over knives, getting past that, getting to earthlings, getting into, you know, um, I just be interested in going out and, and, and volunteering in an animal sanctuary. I don't know of any. Um, I live in the Inland Empire in Southern California. I don't know of any. I think I might have to meet up with more vegans, but I think it's very important. Also, Bra the Brown Vegan Podcast. I've listened to her. I listen to her all the time. I listened to her back when I was vegan. So inspirational. Because um, she's, she's talking about just the dilemmas that come up. Um, that and just representation seeing other vegans that look like you now that not that vegan or unnatural vegan aren't great people and that I'm, I'm not grateful for seeing them but it's also I'm really grateful for seeing sweet potato sweet potato vegan I care about the environment you can't not eat meat but if you eat cheesecake that cheese came from somewhere it came from somebody here was sentient and that so I'm trying to bridge that get into the ethics because I felt that's probably what I was missing from the last part from to stay vegan because I went vegan for six months it wasn't anything to me um, I just slowly started falling off the bandwagon I was seeing someone at the time and they weren't vegan and so when we would go out to eat I would slip up and have have a burger and it's wrong so getting to getting my ethics solid getting my my moral compass on why i i refuse to partake you know it's an evolution and i want to be a part of that evolution um so i think oil um less oil is better it's best watching the types of oils i use um but fat is good for you <laughs> and it's good for my body and so i can't say well let me take it back fat could be good for you for me, that works. Eat a ton of it, no, but they're useful when you go out around non, you know, om omnivorous people. Having a vegan or meat analog burger. Um. So I'm going to cap off this video. Um, to get become more knowledgeable about ethical veganism. My goal is also to meet up with some people who are animal rights activism and to get involved and to reduce my goal. Okay, so that's my update. 14 minutes. I'm going to edit it down. Dear God, no. I'm going to keep it as well. Uh, tune it in and if you like what you're sliding, not this button, but like, and then subscribe. Bye.